All right, so I am embarking on a new adventure into the world of reusable menstrual products, specifically, hi sweetheart, specifically reusable pads, uh, cloth pads. I have never been much for tampons and I don't think a cup would really fit um, my needs very well, but um, pads definitely piqued my interest and I decided we're worth um, exploring. I have a kitty cat visitor. Let's see if she pokes her head up. Oh, oh, oh. So, um, basically what happened was I sort of stumbled across some YouTube videos about cloth pads. Um, and I had sort of heard about them in the past and he definitely heard about cups in the past. Um, so I watched some videos about pads. I watched some videos about making pads. I looked online at um, different places that you could purchase them already made um, and decided that all things considered, I would um, try to make them myself before I purchased any. Um, and I actually haven't, I have yet to purchase any. Um, and I wanted this video to be sort of a walk through figuring out what um, what kinds of shapes work really work for me um, but how to figure out what kind of shape is going to work for you and the short answer to that question is just to try a bunch um, whether you make them yourself or, or purchase them um, I'm certainly a proponent of making them yourself but um, I had I had probably made maybe 10 pads and gone through one full cycle using just um, cloth pads before I really figured out the style that was going to be most comfortable and most effective for me. Um, so I'll start you with the first one that I made, um, which was probably about three months ago. Um, I didn't have a pattern. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, I knew that I needed some cotton fabric. I chose cotton um, for the topper for all my pads because it's so easy to get my hands on. Um, it's really inexpensive and it's available in a nearly infinite number of colors and patterns. Um, and the first one I made is topped in cotton and, and backed in cotton um, and has a flannel core. Um, basically, I just guessed on the shape. Um, I, I didn't have any disposables on hand to copy, which I think is a really great way to get an idea of a pattern if you're going to make your own pads, but I, I didn't have any on hand. Um, so I just kind of drew one out. This one... Um, is probably about seven and a half or eight inches. Um, and it has a button, a little shell button closure, um, and a flannel core, I think I already said that. Um, and really in terms of construction, I just kind of guessed. I watched a couple of videos, like I said, about how to construct them, um, but it seemed pretty straightforward. And when I, I was super happy when I was done with it, I liked how it turned out. Um, that same night, I apologize, this one's a little stained, it may or may not show up, but um, that same night I made this one thinking, you know, these are very different. Like it'll give me an idea of, um, what I like about them and what I don't like about them, which is definitely something I would recommend doing. If you don't know what to do, make four that are different <laughs> um, and see so just sort of which ones are comfortable for you um, and which ones you like. Uh, this one, I don't, I hate it. I really don't like it, um, partly because it's just too big. Um, and I didn't really think about that. Like I kind of measured the gusset of my underwear, um, but I didn't, I wasn't particularly careful about it. Um, and I was just kind of like trying to get something made because I was so excited by the idea. Um, and this ended up being, it's over four inches wide. Um, and it's just too big. Uh, it's just too wide. And both of these really were too wide. They sort of bunched up in my underwear like this. And then, you know, that's just not comfortable. Still, I will say more comfortable than a plastic top disposable pad, um, but not what I was really looking for in terms of how comfortable I thought that they could probably be. Um, so once I realized that both of those were a little too wide for me, then I made this little, little one, um, which is much, much too small for me. <laughs> um, it's a great width. Um, it's 
you know, it's very narrow when it's snapped, um, but it's just not long enough. Um, I think it's about seven inches, which I think for some people is a, is an adequate panty liner length. Um, but for me, it wasn't. Um, so I had three very different pads and really knew, um, from trying those three out that I needed something that was narrower in the gusset, um, and something that was, you know, at least eight inches long. Um, so <clears throat> I made, um, some straight oval shaped pads um this style here so this is a pretty common the back's probably easier to see the shape um pretty common shape these are all about nine inches or so long um and they all button down to um like about two and a half inches or so um across the center um and that ended up being a much, much more comfortable um, pad than the three that I had made before. So really excited and I made a bunch. Um, I made them in a couple of different absorbencies and a couple of different lengths. Um, so I have a couple of little thin uh, liners. I have some regulars and all of these are virtually the same um, length. This one's a little bit narrower. Um, but these are all sort of between eight and a half and nine and a half inches um this is the the superman one is definitely the thickest i don't know what an easy way to show that is but it's definitely sort of the the th the thickest in the core i think it has two layers of um flannel and two of terry um but even that is you know, once I've had it on for an hour, I don't even notice it anymore in my underwear. So, um, so I went through a whole cycle with this style of pad. Um, and what I found was that I have, um, I, you know, have a tendency to bleed really high on the pad and sort of over to the right a little bit. Um, so I wasn't getting any blood, um, or discharge on the back of the pad at all. I was getting it all up front. So then what I decided I needed to do was make a pad that had more material um, up front. Um, and the first ones that I made, this is the only one I have on hand, but I have, I made a couple like this that are sort of like light bulb shaped. Um, so they're a little bit longer. Um, and if I fold it right down the center, you can see it's got an extra um, it's probably got an extra inch up front compared to the back. Um, and still, you know, really it's, it's just like this one, just with an extra fat top. <laughs> um, and those worked even better. Um, I was a lot more secure in them than in the like symmetrical versions. Um, and they were just as comfortable. They you know, I did them with all the same sort of types of cores um, because that had been working fine. Um, I just wanted to alter the shape. So that was an improvement for me, certainly. And then I made um, a similarly sort of like offset one with an extra, um, extra fabric in the front um, in a more square shape. So this one has the same little tap wings, which are working fine for me. I haven't really done anything different with the wings. Um, but yeah, so, um, I mean this one, which is actually, um, pretty thick. This is a flannel topped one with a couple layers, each of flannel and, um, and Terry. Um, so wearing both of these, I decided I liked this one a little bit better. Um, but also that this one I felt was a lot more convenient to carry, um, and to change and to fold and all that kind of stuff than um, with the curved shape. So um, I made a couple of um, different absorbencies in the flared, um, the square or flared shape. Um, and this has turned out to be far and away my favorite style. Um, when I was making those, I also made two overnight pads, um, which I don't like, but um, I made them. Um, I don't really need the, 
the level of an, of absorbency that's in an overnight pad. I made um, a rounded one and a squared one um, just to see kind of which is which was comfortable and and that kind of thing. Um, I don't think I'll be making very many more in this kind of level of absorbency, but. Um, I, I made them. They, it happened. <laughs> it did kind of teach me though what I don't, you know, again, what I don't need. You know, I don't need something as thick as these. I don't need something. Um, the length isn't really so much a problem. Um, and really the, the thickness isn't a problem. It's just much, much more than I need. Um, so I sort of moved away from that. And then um, I made a bunch in this style. Um, so I made this cute watermelon, which I love the watermelon print. Some little clouds, some little cats, some cute whales, um, some snowflakes, and like an outer space map, star map kind of print. Um, and yeah, that's that's most of the ones that I've made. I have a couple that are in the wash, but um, basically, I think if you're interested in trying. Um, particularly cloth pads. I can't really speak to cups um, because I don't use them, but, um, and you're open to, to making them yourself, which I think is a great way to go because it allows you to get through the kind of experimentation phase where, you know, you realize that none of this is doing it for you, but you can use these and the information that you get from the ones that you don't love to kind of tweak and change your idea to get to the ones you know that you do love and you want to have 7,000 of because they're perfect. Um, so yeah, all that being said, it's it's been really, really fun um, and um, enjoyable just to kind of like sit and sew and relax and and not just, you know, because you want to have a project to do, but um, in a way that's really making you feel um, it makes me feel more confident about the care that I can give myself during my cycle. Um, it makes my cycle more comfortable um, and certainly more enjoyable. And it's really just given me just something, um, I don't know how to put it exactly, just something positive to associate with menstruation and when you have a difficult cycle or when you have health issues it can be really challenging to see um you know to see that as a positive healthy part of being a woman and and it is um and this has really helped me get that perspective back after having lost it for a while so um it's been a really great um it's been a really great experience and I will continue to make um, videos. I think I'm probably going to make a video about um, constructing the pad and sort of a, a tutorial on making them, um, especially if you're just making them sort of for your own use. Um, so look forward to that and hopefully I will talk to you very soon. Thanks.